Hey y'all, it's Lucy Bree, 2Ws and 2Es. If you want to see me do my makeup and answer questions, keep on watching. It's so funny how I said I was going to do an easy look. And this is what I came up with. Like, it's easy, but it's mad dramatic, so. Basically, I always ask you to ask me questions because I feel like it's mad boring to like just sit here and watch somebody do their makeup like that shit is really mad boring so that's why i always tell y'all to ask me questions plus it's like it's my friends that watch my videos because i have barely subscribers and nothing so it's basically the same people i talk to every day that watch my videos except for like six or seven people maybe so yeah like I want to make this shit interesting. So today I'm using this palette that I like never use. And it's like literally just in my drawer like sitting down. And I was like maybe today is the day to use it. And I came up with this. So maybe I should start using it more often. And it's the Urban Decay Element Palette. And it's like so cute. And it looks like this. It's cute or whatever. Somebody said what's my biggest fear and my biggest fear is literally the ocean like I am so Scared of flying like in an airplane like No, like I fucking hate the ocean and my other biggest fear is Fucking getting kidnapped at this point everybody knows this all my friends knows this I'm mad paranoid like if I see a black band, I will literally like No, I'm so fucking scared of getting kidnapped um, if you hear my mom and my stepfather in the back, I'm sorry, but like This is not supposed to be professional anyway, so Somebody said relationship advice literally my biggest relationship advice is to trust each other and respect each other because if you don't trust a person why are you even with a person and if y'all don't respect each other, there's going to be a lot of trouble because y'all always going to be disrespecting each other and y'all going to be butthurt. So if y'all don't respect each other and y'all don't trust each other, let them in go, sis. Next question is, how do I feel about leadership? Honestly, I got this love-hate relationship with leadership because sometimes I like it. I like the freedom that they give us, but the people in leadership literally, like, disgust me. And, like, I literally hate everybody but my friends. And leadership is just a love-hate relationship school because it's leadership. Somebody asked for how long I've been doing makeup. And I've been doing makeup since, like, seventh grade. Like, makeup is, like just a hobby of mine since i'm like fucking eight years old but like i actually started taking it serious and wanting to do more and more and wasting money on it since like seventh grade makeup is great you just gotta always be on it because if you spend more than literally like two months without doing your makeup when you come back it's really hard to do it but it's a skill that once you learn it it's like it's always there so so um i just finished doing my eyes and I realized that I need to hurry the fuck up because my stepfather is watching the baseball game without me and I want to go watch the baseball game so I gotta hurry up. Somebody asked me what I value the most and the thing I value the most is myself because I feel like if you don't value yourself and you don't respect yourself you cannot value or respect somebody else. So myself is the thing I value the most. Okay, somebody said, what do I feel? How do I feel? Bitch, this foundation is fucking dark. Somebody said, how do I feel when people say that I have an accent? And it's like, I literally, like, don't give a fuck because... One, English is not my first language. I was not raised speaking English. I came to the United States when I was fucking eight years old. And like I was really not really speaking English. Like I really had to learn this bum ass language. It's not a bum ass language, but um I had to learn this language all by my dolly. And I'm proud. Like I'm proud that I speak two languages. I've never I've never gotten mad because somebody said that like I have an accent. Like if anything, 
I feel proud of myself because I know two languages and most people don't. So. Okay, next question was when was your last fight? My last fight was in January because some little girl wanted to press my buttons, but that was in January and I'm a new person and I got on fight no more. And Next question is, what are your favorite Netflix shows? My favorite Netflix shows are um, Jane the Virgin. I was obsessed with that shit. And I literally brought season four on fucking YouTube because I couldn't wait because how the fuck is Michael alive? And like, bitch, what the fuck? So I had to buy season four on YouTube. And I'm like on episode three. And Grey's Anatomies. I love Grey's Anatomies. Like, I literally finished it and, like, I search up episodes sometimes and, like, go back and rewatch them. Um, yeah, only those. Somebody said, what are some places that I want to visit? Some places that I want to visit is definitely um, Paris, like... A bitch is feigning to go to Paris and she's like nine years old. Um, Greece. I really want to go to Greece, like really bad. I want to go to Santorini and all that cute shit. Okay, somebody asked me why so many females don't like you, sis. I've been wanting to know this since like day one because literally, oh God. because literally I'm like the nicest person ever. I don't mess with nobody. And like, I'm just like so nice to everybody. Like, it's really not even funny. I don't mess with nobody. Like, I'm so nice. Like, and females always want to have a problem with me because I don't know because I don't know because bitches always want to have beef like ain't nobody got time for that sis somebody said what is your high school advice literally my biggest high school advice is make sure who you become friends with because most likely those are going to be your friends for the next four years and once you start doing bad in high school it's like there's no going back so pick your friends wisely make sure who you hang out with don't do drugs don't skip class just do good in school somebody said what is what my mom calling my little brother was one of the biggest things high school have teach me and it's like literally the one thing high school has taught me is that people are not your friends like bitches are not your friends niggas are not your friends do you boo like this people do not want to see winning like people are not your friends somebody said if you could go back to a time in your life what would it be and why and like the best time of my life was sixth grade because i was just doing so good like everything wise mental health wise academically wise Everything was just great when I was in 6th grade. I hate high school. Like, high school put so much stress on you. And 6th grade was literally like the last school year that I was actually doing good in school. So this is what I came up with. Hope you like this. I know you really learned shit, but... Like, comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends. Help a girl out. And I'm going to link all the products that I use down below because I wasn't really talking about no products. So I'm going to just link them down below. And 